Hello, and welcome to Island Outdoors One. Today I'll be showing you the Kershaw Skyline. Okay, we have the Kershaw Skyline, number 1760, and this knife sells on Amazon for around $38.72 with prime shipping. Uh, it is a flipper design cold out today. Let's see if I can flip it open. Not that time. Well, I don't want to knock my camera over, but trust me, it does flip with a little wrist action. Uh, this is a small, small to medium sized everyday carry knife, in my opinion. Uh, let me back out a little and tell you more about it. This is made in the USA in Tulatin, Oregon. I believe I said that right. Tulatin, Oregon. Uh, you can see on this side of the blade it has the Kershaw logo. It has a thumb stud. It appears to have ambidextrous thumb studs. And here's the flipper tab in the open position. It is a drop point hollow. It is a drop point hollow ground blade, and it says it's a stone wash finish. I'm not so sure. This appears to me to be bead blasted, but. I could be wrong. On the back side of our blade is your model number 1760 Kai patented made in the USA and uh, here's our pocket clip with the Kershaw logo on it. It is a two screw attachment. You will have about this much of the knife sticking out of your pocket when, when it's in your pocket. This lanyard, this leather lanyard does not come with a knife however it does come with a lanyard hole to add your own lanyard and the lanyard hole is somewhat small. I don't know if you'll be able to get a full 550 paracord through there or if you you could probably get 550 paracord through if you took all the inner strands out. This knife has very nice G10 handle scales and they provide excellent grip for this knife. So you, you do have good traction and along with the finger choil, the flipper tab acts as a, a guard for your finger too, so it won't slip up onto the cutting edge. The knife is two-thirds open construction with a back spacer on the final third and the back spacer appears to be an aluminum appears to be a smooth piece of aluminum you can see we have one stainless steel liner on one side of the knife the other side of the knife is constructed with just G10 you can 
can see it is a liner lock. The liner lock has jimping, easily accessible, easily activated. Slide it over and close your blade. The engagement on this knife is... Oh, it's probably... I don't know, what's that, 70-80% engaged, and it's early, so it has plenty of room to wear, and uh, there'll be a lot of service in this knife. Let's see. Uh, the pocket clip is right side tip up or right side tip up or tip down only there's no holes for the left hand carry sorry for that lefties there is no jimping on the spine of the blade or the top of the knife but the way the, the handle is shaped it provides a firm grip and uh, you have a lot of cutting edge for a, a fairly small knife And uh, very nice design. Uh, the steel on the blade is a Sandvik 14C28N, and I believe that's a it's a stainless steel, specially made for Kershaw, and they claim it to be one of their premium steels. And uh, it came razor sharp from the factory and uh, you'll have plenty of rust resistance with its stainless steel quality so I think you'll enjoy this knife. Uh, some dimensions. The blade length is 3.1 inches or 7.9 centimeters. The closed length is four and a quarter inches or 10.8 centimeters. The overall length, overall this knife is 7.4 inches or 18.7 centimeters and the weight is uh, 2.5 ounces, very light, or 70.9 70 gram, 70 grams. Uh, your lanyard. Blade centering on this knife. It appears to be spot on, perfect, right in the center of the groove. Fit and finish of this knife. I can't find any issues with this particular one. Fit and finish is excellent. And uh, I really enjoy this knife. It's so light and compact, and you get very decent size blade and it's a three inch blade and you get almost three inches of cutting edge to go with that so blade to handle ratio is very good with this knife and uh, I just love it hollow ground stainless steel drop point blade is uh, a very capable knife for every EDC task you could ask for it and uh, I'm very happy with this knife uh, I'm trying to see the pivot washers it's a very smooth opening Not tell what the pivot washers are constructed of. I believe they're either phosphor bronze or Teflon washers. I can uh, find out for sure if anybody wants to know and leave leave it in the comments or whatnot. So would I re re would I recommend this knife to anybody? 
I sure would. Classic knife. And there's many videos on the internet about this knife. It's well loved and I can understand why. I'm very happy with mine. So go out and get yourself one and enjoy it. In my next episode, I'll show you the Spider Crow Paramilitary 2.